Today, more children than ever before go to school. But in far too many schools, the learning environment is poor and children just aren't learning. So how do we deal with that? Well, we developed the QLE, Quality Learning Environment. The QLE framework is founded on four general principles. Social emotional protection, physical protection, active learning process and community participation. All of which we think are critical for children's learning and development. We believe that if a school improves on these four principles, they will improve on learning outcomes as well. That is why for the last three years, we've been testing these principles in three different countries and contexts in a pilot project called And this is what we've learned so far. What I again see about these schools is that um, their children's interaction with the teachers is peaceful. You see active participation of children. You know when there's good teacher-people relationship, that means children have trust in teachers and that promotes their academic performance. Northern Uganda, particularly Guru, where we are implementing our learning project, is a post-conflict district. So most of those children were born in the camps and so they had a lot of psychosocial issues. So one of the aspects that we have catered for is to train teachers on psychosocial support and we see a very big improvement because in the beginning they would be fighting, they would be quarreling, but now they are happy and they are in school. Sometimes we could just be rude on the child and sometimes we can just chase the child away from the class because we do not know the real problem of the child. And some, sometimes we use even to cane the children. If you abuse, you have abused a child like that, what, what, have you, what, are, what are you going to communicate to them? But now teachers, now they are, they are trained, they know how to handle children. If you doesn't learn, you cannot be what you want to be. That is why I want learning. Mm. I want to become a nurse in future. And if I doesn't learn, I cannot become a nurse in future. Can't be monang a low crook cockney. Bongarian got a can't be mon got Bongarian or so, or rich as a spider in Rachel Post Sate. Got Bongarian big as not snatch with such a pay a low, got Bongarian snatch snare, none I saw her in the area, chap your chap day. Before students learn so passive, they just follow instruction, but now you know so completely changed. Students are so confident, they ask critical questions, they are challenged teacher. ចាកាពីមុនខ្ញុំរៀនដោយប្រើតែសភើសិក្សាគោ <coughs> I think uh, critical thinking is so important for education in Cambodia because Cambodia had gone through a long civil war and killing regime. We were trained not to talk, not to communicate, and not to listen to the other. But now, in M Learning School, uh, children are able to talk, to communicate, to raise their opinion. I think this is the way that uh, makes students to learn to be able to think by themselves we can see that community-based uh, management and active learning 
put pressures on students and teachers so that they focus more on learning and teaching. And this could explain why intervention school students perform better in reading. The parents have come in, teamed up with the teachers and have helped to make the learning environment very safe. In the environment, when you look at it now, it is encouraging a lot. It's pleasing. So the children would like to be in their school always. Our teachers, they now consult the children, even in their lesson planning, which you don't find in our comparison schools. And that one is a milestone ahead of uh, the, the, the other schools in the country. I believe I'm learning program will yield better results for my children. As they learn using child-centered methodologies, they will be tackling most of their, the questions on their own. They discover on their own, they make evaluations on their own, and they conclude on their own rather than us teachers spoon feeding them with information. I am learning because I want to be a nurse. I'm learning because I want to be a teacher. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a truth guy. I want to become a professor. We're creating local ownership and we're actually co-creating and co-developing the I'm Learning model. It's not something that Save the Children comes with as a ready-made solution, but it's something that we've created together. And uh, we see that that has created a very strong foundation for sustainability, which is built on local ownership. I can see that this project is sustainable if the safety children lives, because the parents are involved, they own schools, they are key stakeholders. Other teachers and other school heads are already borrowing the QLE approach in their own schools. And that alone is a sign that such a program has a potential of being scaled up. I am learning model. It's good and we're going to take it up very seriously. Even after Save the Children has stopped or phased out supporting the district. Right now, our ministry have uh, documented the best practices from M learning programs to develop school-based management guidelines. And that will be rolled out to all like uh, 7,000 schools. Why should children accept a school that does not teach, when instead we can create environments that increase their learning outcomes? It's all about being holistic. It's all about bottom-up development and strong local ownership. But most of all, it's all about learning. <laughs>